Hello everybody, Fixer here, and today I have for you a game called Longest Night. Now this was developed by Infinite Fall and published by Finji. You can get it on Itch.io for pay what you want. Now, this is the first supplemental to the full game Night in the Woods. This is something you should probably play before Night in the Woods. I, however, did not. I This is completely blind, so I'm going in this blind. There is a second supplemental called Lost Constellation that I have played, and it's also on my channel, so there'll be a link at the end of this uh, to check that out. But I'm, I'm assuming most of you are coming from Night in the Woods to see this. But if this is new to you, the correct way to watch these, quote-unquote correct, I should say, you watch Longest Night first, Lost Constellation second, and then Night in the Woods um, after that. And the rumor is that they'll have more supplementals coming out soon. Some of them might even be limited to just the backers of their Kickstarter, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I was not a backer on Kickstarter because I don't back anything on Kickstarter. I, I wish I would have, but I didn't. Anyways, we're here to play The Longest Night. I don't know how long this game is. I'm guessing it's kind of short. I guess we're going to find out. And for those of you new to the series, this would be May. This would be B. This is Angus. And this is Greg. Uh, why aren't I cold? Fire. We have a fire. We have reached that level as a civilization. Oh. I'm bored. Feels like we've been here forever. Oh, well, we should do the Longest Night Constellation thing. Wow, really? I haven't done that since I was like six. No one has done that since they were like six. Well, I don't remember being six. Can I hide the cursor somewhere or no? No? Okay. Really? Really? Yeah, I don't remember much before like eight and a half. That's very specific. B is a synthetic life form created at age eight and a half. This makes so much sense. Beep boop B. <laughs> one one zero one one. Okay, whatever. I'm done. Can we just do this thing? Uh, well, none of us knows enough about the constellations to even do it. B. Bet Angus knows. Yeah, B. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, I do. Since when? Since always. Now listen up, dummies. We're going to school. Space school. Lovely. I can't see anything. We're pattern finders. Find some patterns. Um. Oh. All right, so they sound differently. Do I? Okay. You can. I don't know if you guys can see them because YouTube makes things darker. But the the constellations in the background, you can actually see them. Rubolo, Pope, sometime in the 1400s. Crazy times. Oh God, I love this one. There were two rival popes, and Rubolo won by opening his mouth. And consuming them with fire. He wasn't even one of them. And then he ate them. What? <laughs> I knew that one. That's amazing. I mean, historically, his extended family poisoned one. And stabbed the other before throwing him into a canal. But he, he did eat him. He, he did eat him, yes. That is the raddest thing I've ever heard. Chomp, chomp, whoops, ate you. No, I'm the Pope. Oh. Okay. Do I just close it? All right, there we go. It's very loud. I'm definitely going to have to lower this volume in editing. All right. Harmonium, the head of the singing orders of angels. Ugh, this one. My mom always said I looked like this one. I can see it. Well, actually, yeah, I sure can't. Leading so many cranky angels. Grouching hard. Across the sky. 
Okay. Moving on. Okay, so yeah, they, they all sound differently. Each constellation does. So I guess that's not too difficult. <laughs> Monday, the, the world fish. Back, uh, when, back then, they thought whales were fish. And you know, that the world was on one. So this is basically Terry Pratchett. Monday is my sign. Oh God, of course it is. Hey, what does that mean? Uh, um, I don't even know what that means. Was he trying to make a whale sound? He may have been. Well, if any of this meant anything, then it might mean something, but it doesn't, so... It doesn't. Um, 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 is that a whale sound? Are they trying to make whale sounds? Maybe they are. What are you doing? Whale noises. Okay, they are. Oh, is that diff- Oh, those are different. Oh, that's a small one. Tolmatron! It rings at the end of the world, and Mundy shakes everything off her back. And I think it all catches fire, too. It all made sense back then. Back when people <laughs> were, like, wicked dumb. Yeah, I don't mean to sound like a jerk, but people were super dumb back then. Well, it's all relative. And full of dumb people. Beautiful dumb people. Wow, that was small. A uh, fish. And... Just a fish. Pretty self-explanatory. Huh. Fun fact, fish is my sign. I think that means you're uh, adaptable and smelly. Oh, that's, that's harsh. Let's go with this one. Got one of those right, huh, Captain? Got a manly musk going here. You smell like that stuff I got you, finally. Ice Hawk. It has a picture of an Ice Hawk on it. I smell quite masculine. Like an Ice Hawk. I think you smell nice, Angus. Thanks. So I wonder how old they are at this point. Because this seems like before... Well, spoiler alert, not too much of a spoiler, but May and B kind of had a little bit of a... They didn't have a fight, but they just kind of grew apart. And this feels like it was before that. What's an ice hawk? Oh no! What the hell is this one? I have no idea. I can't see the black lines. Did I just get that all wrong? God damn it. Oh! I see. I can I actually control this. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell am I missing here? See, that's a different one altogether. This one's on its own. There we go. I see now. Uh Invernus. Uh Inventorus, the inventor of music. Wasn't... was he one of the... No, he wasn't one of the musicians, because the musicians were real people. Nice beak. Reminds me of Germ. Haha! -ha. Germ isn't even musical, like, at all. Who? Germ? Like, Germ? Like, weird Germ? Yeah? How do you know... 
I think May's getting sleepy. Um, Kinona, wasn't she one of those that was shown in Night in the Woods? I think it was. Executed by some king somewhere. Her head can you continue to speak against her murders for years. That's pretty sweet. Uh, you'd think, right? But in the story, she's portrayed as annoying. Like she was being a martyr. About literally being martyred. They eventually put her head in a trunk and threw it in a river. What'd she do? Talked out loud in public. Oh, is, is that all? That was enough, apparently. Supposedly, if you put your head underwater in some river in Italy, she'll tell you about her murder. They renamed it the River of Guilt. But not like the guilt of her murderers. More like she's giving you a guilt trip or something stupid. This constellation's garbage. Chop my head off, I'll bite yours off. Happy longest night, everyone! Moving on... Oh, wow! Lucio! Audio Medic! Oh, yeah! What? Lucio the Fox! Scourge of the French countryside. Yeah, totally French. Totally a scourge. Why does he have a spear through him? The candle that burns twice as bright gets speared through the guts. Beautiful. You can see why this one is so popular. Marmonodes, the little keen. He was, um, a king who was little? I don't know anything about this one. Apparently a little king was big news back then. I don't think he was even supposed to be all that small. <laughs> Stop the presses! So there's this king, right? But get this, he's slightly smaller than you'd expect. He wears small shoes. Let's immortalize him in the night sky. Uh, I'm kind of short. May Borowski, Constellation. Nah, everyone who picked the constellations is dead now. Okay, Ibn, the first singer. Ever see the opera based on this? Um, no, because she's going to tell me about it. Well, let's hear what May has to say about it. Oh yeah, we watched it when Mr. Omers was out sick those two weeks. It's like super long. There's an awesome part where Ivan drinks the ocean to make the fish cry. So he can finally hear their voices and teach them to sing. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, but it's the good kind of dumb. Opera is kind of like that all over. The mice writers, inventors of written language. Weren't there supposed to be thousands of them? Listen, there's only so much sky. The mice writers are my sign. I think that means you're thousands of geniuses. Um, well, considering her relationship with Greg, she would probably say this. What? Mice are nature's snack cake. If you follow the food chain all the way down, you'll find mice. I'm sorry, Gregory. Your days are numbered. No way, man. I'm forever. This one looks complicated. Okay. Can I get a... I can't see in there. Nope, nope, go back up, go back up. There we go. Corvin, the thief. 
Stole the diamond from the crown of Rubello, the fire-breathing pope. Got arrowed to death, like, 200 feet from the palace. So he didn't get to be a consolation for being a great thief then. He did not. Screw the man, steal their diamonds. Ah yes, the revolutionary zeal of kids from the suburbs. Possum Springs isn't the suburbs. Yeah, you need a city to have suburbs. Which is interesting because I thought this took place in a suburb... Suburb? Suburb outside of Pittsburgh. So this tells me that maybe this isn't as close to Pittsburgh as I thought. I still think it's probably Western Pennsylvania, but maybe just kind of in the middle of nowhere. Just a small little mining town in the middle of nowhere. That's probably the case then. We're in the dead center of nowhere. Well, there you go. It's like a 40 minute drive if you want to buy shoes. So 40 minutes outside Pittsburgh, which in some, I don't know how Pittsburgh, but in some of those other cities, that's still suburbs. Also, I'm 21. I'm not a kid. I think you're younger than me. All right, so this tells me that this was probably right before May went to college. So May goes to college and she was there for a year, then she gets back. And that's where Night in the Woods begins. So this is probably like right before or maybe a little bit before? Who knows? I'm 21 too. We both have full-time jobs. Well, as close to full-time as they can get. Before they have to start giving us health insurance. I'll be 20 in like four months. Or there you go. She was 20 in Night in the Woods. So this is less than a year before Night in the Woods. Okay, fine. You're all very serious adults. Thank you. Yes, thank you. One more. The Broken Snake. The first thing that talked. This story has made me, has always made me so annoyed. I was totally the kid in Sunday school who pitched a fit over this story. Oh my god, I remember that. You got sent out to adult church to sit with your parents. No punch and cookies for me. Wow, I certainly missed out on all of that. Oh, dude, you don't e you didn't even. Well, that's all 13 of them. Yay, thanks, Angus. That was pretty great. You're a big old nerd, Captain. Yes. Yes, I am. You should be a professor. I like to think I fill that role at the video store. <laughs> Well, I should probably get home. Wait. I just realized that I haven't hung out with you in years, B. What? Okay, so this is giving us answers. We had a huge fight when we were 12. Sorry, I didn't mean to click on the star. I remember it more like you stopped sitting with me at lunch. Or returning my phone calls. Or responding to messages. Always with Greg, too cool for me. Sorry, B. I didn't mean to be a friendship wrecker. It's cool, Greg. It was ages ago. Wait, are we actually in space? But I'm warm and breathing? What am I sitting on? <laughs> a Tyrannosaurus pattern. What? Oh god, I haven't seen Greg or Angus for a year and a half. Regrets and emptiness. I didn't go home for longest night. Laundry day. Apple juice tastes from when you threw up earlier. You have to call home. You don't want to call home. It's too late to take the bus. What made you think of me today? You don't want to take the bus. This is your new life. So is she dreaming at college right now? I think it is. Is it still new after a year and a half? Underwear adjust! Next year will be new again. Next you will be new again. Leg stretch. Oh come on, this is getting stupid. Am I serious? She was dreaming. Well, home's not gonna call itself. Night in the Woods. Alright, so that was her at college. Oh, well, I, I, the game just closed on me. I guess it doesn't take me back to the menu or anything. So, I guess that's May at college then. She had a dream and she woke up and she's about to call home. And I guess that's where, not too long after that, is, is where Night in the Woods picks up. Well, that was cute. 
Um, so if you're if you haven't seen Lost Constellation yet, I strongly recommend you go and check it out. Better yet, just go to itch.io and and it's pay what you want for this game. So give them a buck, give them five bucks, whatever. Um, they deserve it. You know, there was only three devs for this. They had help with other people and stuff like that. They had contractors and whatnot. But there were three people who made these games, and um, I thought they were they were quite awesome. Anyways, again, Lost Constellation, and then go check out Night in the Woods. You won't regret it. It was phenomenal. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.